What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 48 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you want to submit your desk setup, make sure to watch the video link below which by the way will go live in about two weeks so the submissions will be open once again. With all that said and done, let the Setup Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always everyone's gear for their setups along with anything I recommend in this episode will be linked below but here are your 5 contestants for this week. We have Aki, Joey, Stu, Tobias and William, congratulations for making it on the show. Starting off the show is Aki's black and red setup. We have a 27 inch Dell monitor with a pretty badass wallpaper on top of the mono price monitor riser. And below that we have a few PS4 controllers neatly tucked away. For peripherals we have the Corsair Strafe keyboard and the Mionix Neo 7000 mouse on top of a sweet looking League of Legends mouse pad. Seriously that mouse pad is on fire. I want to take this time and thank Aki for the amazing quality pictures. You know, submissions like these, whether it's a laptop on a stool, will still get featured regardless because of the quality. The higher the quality of the pics, the greater the chances of being featured. So thank you Aki for taking your time and sending me these pictures. So also on the desk we have a pair of Cloud 2s resting on the Thermaltake headphone hanger and the ever so popular Harman Kardon Sound Sticks 3. Cable management can definitely be improved, no amount of wooden pieces will hide the fact that there are cables hanging around in the back. I strongly recommend watching my cable management video for tips and tricks on how you can improve your wiring job. I really love how you kept the color theme consistent throughout the setup. There's not a lot of black and red. It's not overpowering at all and I think it's nicely balanced. The glass monitor riser and the see-through speakers really add some spice to the overall setup. Even though you have your phone and LED remote neatly organized on the riser, I would much prefer them either hidden away in a drawer or maybe a dope black stand for the phone. I'm sure you won't be able to see any notifications with the phone facing down like that. The last thing I want to mention is the desk. I'm honestly digging that carbon fiber, it looks pretty sweet, but overall a really sick setup. Thank you Aki for entering. Joey is next up with a very clean wireless setup. We have two 23 inch AOC frameless monitors hooked up to the mounted arms and below that we have the Microsoft Sculpt Comfort keyboard and the Logitech G602 mouse on top of the Pecham extended mouse pad. Also on the desk we have a pair of Logitech Z213 speakers and a blue snowball mic hiding in the back. Now I've seen some weird shit before on desks and PCs but shoes? You guys are continuing to impress me. Cable management is excellent, we got the Signum doing majority of the work and we also have some cable tubes concealing the wires below, not to mention the mounted power strip and the quirky cordies holding the charging cables up top. I can definitely see you spent some time on the overall cable management, job well done Joey. Oh and a point for the remote placement for the LED strips. The PC that's powering the setup has a 4790K paired with an EVGA GTX 960 FTW edition inside the spectacular H440 case. Great job again keeping the theme consistent even inside your PC. The only thing I don't understand is the decision going with two Alex drawers with a Linman tabletop. I mean how much do you have to store? Overall a very clean and organized setup, thank you Joey for entering. Moving towards the dark side we have Stu and the magical land of acoustic foams. You know that layout actually looks a little familiar. On the desk we have two 24 inch ASUS monitors and a wireless Logitech keyboard and mouse combo. Sandwiching the monitors are a pair of Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers with the Audio Engine stands and the D1 DAC right below. Cable management is really clean, not a single wire in sight and I also like the fact that you installed a drawer underneath the desk. Unless you didn't and it came with one already. The PC that's powering the setup has a 5930K paired with an R9 290X and a pair of M70Xs just lying on the desk. We do have a little setup on the other side of the room which is mainly for work and I like how it also has its own acoustic foam wall as well. Really impressive setup overall, nothing really to recommend other than a headphone hanger for those cans to prevent it from getting scratched or damaging the desk. But thank you Stu for entering. 
Tobias is next up with a very clean minimalistic setup and I think that this is the second Star Wars themed setup in this episode. First off I just have to say I love the desk. The white tabletop with the black drawers goes so damn good together. The color contrast is on point. So we have a 27 inch Dell 1440p monitor, Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard and M65 RGB mouse on top of the extended mouse pad from Glorious. We also have a pair of PreSonus E5 speakers on custom made stands. I personally would have gone with a white shelf instead to keep the black on white contrast more consistent, but black still looks awesome. I love the fact that you utilize the spaces on the desk by putting your audio interface in one side and a laptop on the other. Also great work with the cable management, it looks like the wires are being routed behind the second drawer, but what's up with the whiteboard? To be honest, I was going to feature this in my flawless edition, but that whiteboard was the deal breaker since I can't really see anything behind it. Nonetheless, a very gorgeous setup, Tobias, thank you for entering. Finishing up the episode is William's dual display setup with the same desk configuration as the last. We have two IKEA Alex drawer units holding up the wide Linman tabletop. For the monitors, William is rocking two different ones, a 27 inch ASUS ROG Swift and a 28 inch 4K monitor from ASUS as well. But if that doesn't mess with your OCD, then maybe the stickers on his PC or the bottom drawer being left open will. Why William? Why? So the monitors are resting on the Alex add-on unit and below that we have the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard with brown switches and a Mad Cat's Rat 7 MMO mouse on top of the Corsair extended mouse pad. We do have two different headsets, the Sennheiser Game Zero for gaming and the Sennheiser HD 598s on the AMOV headphone hanger. Those Area 906 speakers are huge, but at least they are in black and white to match the color scheme. I feel like William did a fantastic job with the contrast. We have a black on white on black on white. No two colors are next to each other except the mouse pad, which is on the black surface. I feel like a white extended mouse pad would have looked way better and would have made the gaming gear stand out a bit more. Sometimes you need to make the sacrifice of not putting your PC on your desk to free up some space for other things, so I will give you props for putting your PC off to the side and still making it visible. After all, who would hide such a beauty? We have a 4790K paired with two GTX 980 Ti's classified edition. Excellent work with the cable management and that paint job on that EVGA SLI bridge though. Cable management under the desk however could be better. A cable box to hide that power strip and maybe a few cable clips to wrap those wires in the back of the desk. Or even a cable sleeve can work if you can somehow group up all the wires together. Feel free to check out my cable manager video for more tips and tricks. But overall a very clean and dope setup indeed. I have nothing else bad to say. Thank you William for entering. But that will do for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, you guys know what to do. Drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. And as always, I'll announce the winners on Sunday on my Twitter and Instafail account. So make sure you guys are following me there. I just want to give a huge thanks to you guys for your support on Setup Wars, dropping your likes and your comments and all that. Setup Wars is becoming one of the most popular tech shows on YouTube and it's because of you guys. So thank you so much for this and I'm excited for the next 50 episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.